Go. All right, we're going to calibrate the electronic compass on the, uh, the Cytex uh, SP110 autopilot. What we need to do first is uh, switch the power on to the autopilot. That is done. Then we're going to hit the mode button until the display reads CCAL, C-C-A-L. So here we go. You want to shoot this? No, just, just do it. Step Tell me what you're doing. Here we go. Now we're going to slowly turn the boat in a circle until the display shows done. And that means the calibration is complete. So here we go. Go back to this exact heading. We're going to be coming back to about a 110 heading. Down sea first. Being slow circle. Slower the circle. I can't promise it's going to be a perfect circle, but it'll be a, we will come around to the same heading we were at. Does it give any instruction of how tight or how how uh, large of a circle? Or no, as long it does. As you make it slowly a... turn the boat in a circle. So I'm turning it at about a 300 foot cir uh, diameter circle. We're off the coast of Malibu, California, as you can see in the background. All right. We're going to be uh, kind of cro coming crosswise to the seas right now. And we're going to continue our circle. We still have CCAL on the Cytex SP110 autopilot. And it, what By the way, it? I didn't find the compass to be terribly uh, inaccurate to begin with, so uh, we're just kind of making sure that the compass is uh, dialed in, the electronic compass is dialed in, but in our run up here to, uh, to Malibu from Marina del Rey, we found that the compass was was pretty darn uh, dead on uh, compared to the magnetic onboard compass. So uh, I don't have any reason to believe that uh, the compass is anything but accurate right now. Okay, coming through our circle, we're about, uh, about 90 degrees from completion at this stage. I think by the time we get around to 210, we should be, should get on the, uh, the display, we should get the work done. And then we can move on to our next setup phase. And we got done. 